Hi guys, today I have a delicious and easy to make rhubarb simple syrup recipe for you. This simple syrup has a really beautiful pink color. It's great if you mix it with just some sparkling water for a refreshing summer drink, or you can also use it for different kinds of cocktails and mocktails. Let's get started with the recipe. For this recipe, you will need some fresh rhubarb, sugar, one vanilla pod, and some water. First, you want to start by chopping the rhubarb into these kind of medium pieces and add them to a medium pot. And then you want to cut the vanilla pot like this in the middle, scrape out the vanilla bean, add the vanilla bean and the vanilla pot to the rhubarb along with sugar and water. Give it a good mix, cover with a lid and bring to simmer on low to medium heat. Once the rhubarb is simmering, you want to mix it once in a while and allow it to simmer until it's softened. So here you can see I still have some hard bits of rhubarb, so I'm just gonna cover it up and allow it to cook a little longer. Once the rhubarb is nice and soft, it should look like this, so there are no hard bits of rhubarb, the rhubarb is nice and soft. Now I'm gonna remove the rhubarb from heat and strain the rhubarb through a sieve. If you want, you can additionally strain the rhubarb through a cheesecloth that will give you a really clear syrup. Once you've strained the rhubarb, you want to allow the liquid to cool completely before transferring it into bottles. Make sure you don't throw away the rhubarb discard. It can be eaten with some yogurt or used for desserts. All the details for storing the rhubarb syrup can be found down below in the video description. Fill a glass with ice cubes Add the rhubarb syrup, fill up with sparkling water, and you have a delicious, refreshing summer drink ready. I hope you enjoyed my rhubarb simple syrup recipe. As you can see, I only have one bottle left because one bottle is already gone. I enjoyed mine with just some sparkling water for a really refreshing summer drink but as i said you can also use it for different kinds of mocktails and cocktails if you want to extend the shelf life of the syrup you can freeze it in an ice cube tray and then use those ice cubes for making your cocktails mocktails or just to cool your sparkling water if you enjoyed this recipe don't forget that thumbs up for support and also, if you're new to my channel, then you can subscribe right now and don't forget to tap the bell so you won't miss any of my new recipes. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye until next time.